Greetings YouTube, Fuzz here, and we're going to continue on with our Let's Play of Sonic Mania today, and our zone, Mirage Saloon. So we start off, as we saw at the end of the last episode, with this kind of sky chase section. And I don't know if we can kill this guy, no we can't. Ooh! So this was actually criticised in a few reviews of Sonic Mania, because... Apparently it was annoying in Sonic 2 when the sky chase section was accessible and it's just as annoyable now. Uh, annoying now, sorry. Uh, but actually I disagree with that. I really enjoyed the sky chase zone in Sonic 2. Maybe I'm, you know, only one of the few that does so, but I really did like it. It was a nice change in mechanic. Yeah, it's quite tricky and you have to be on your toes. But all in all, I didn't mind it that much. I think a lot of people don't really enjoy the whole... Um, side scrolling situation where the level forces you to move to the side and yeah this is actually a bit trickier than I remember but that said for me the levels that I generally despise the most are water levels and I don't mind Hydro City they chose a good one for Sonic Mania but in general I'm not a massive fan of water levels because of the way that they hinder your character and that's not just in Sonic but in pretty much any game with a water level Mario um, World of Warcraft not just platforming games any game where you have a water level that slows down your character or makes it more difficult to control, I'm not a big fan of. But no, I didn't mind these levels at all. So it's nice that Tails has got the rocket out to come and help us. So, just kill these enemies. And a lot of these enemies are based on the enemies by the looks of it from Sky Chase, including these turtles. Although, I don't remember the turtles firing things out of their mouths. No, they must have done. And here he is. It's the Robotnik himself. Oh, we missed the... Uh... Well, we missed the train, quite frankly. I guess we're supposed to jump on that. Oh, I've got to start from the beginning. No way. That's really me. Okay, so one thing I did notice playing through again is that this is actually quite a bit more difficult in my opinion than the original Sky Chase zone. So it does require a little bit of concentration. And I died again. What is going on? Right, let's see what happens this time, shall we? He's done it again. I just don't understand it. Okay, so apparently it's a dumb mechanic where you have to just make sure you're higher on the screen. I don't know whether it's supposed to be a cutscene that takes over or what. But you need to be high so that you can jump off. There we go, looks like we've done it now. So if you're too low, then you die automatically. <laughs> it seems silly. I can't imagine it's supposed to be like that. But there we have it. I hate sky chase levels. Stupid mechanics. Uh, can we break through these barrels? No, we can't. So there's a special stage there, but I'm not sure how we reach it. Let me fall down here. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk another death. Although there is a thingy over here, isn't there? Uh, one of those lampposts that will save our progress, as they say. Can we go down here? What's that? Oh, lightning shield. We like sliding shields. I hope you can't fall off this thing. Okay, there's that. Ah, oh, we should have got those rings first. Could have got a bonus stage. Right, let's go across here. And see if we can go ahead. And either die or get the special stage. The only th way I can think of getting it, you see, is by going off this side here. Uh, yes, yes, that's it. We can do it. I thought we was dead then, but you can actually just make your way in. And I don't know why I bother coming in here. I'm not going to do this. I never do. I suck at these UFO special stages. But we'll see how we get on. What's the worst that can happen? Well, we've got a nice bit of time going there. Just need to get a higher Mac. Mac 3 would be helpful, please. There we go, Mac 2. And last time we went around the inside, there's an inside and outside to this course. So I'm trying the outside on this occasion. 
Ooh, ooh. So obviously those bombs must be avoided. Since they do tend to reduce your ring count. Which in effect reduces your timer. So here we are on good old Mac 3. But can we catch up with this thing? That is the question that we must be answering at this point. At the moment, no luck. Where is it? There it is. I saw it. I saw it in the distance. Try and stay out of the blue stuff, please, Sonic. Or just ignore me completely and go off on your own. Are we catching up with that thing? I think we are. Slowly but surely. Right, the trick, I think, to not getting caught on the corners is to jump over them like that. That seems to work. At least so far it does anyway. Not perfectly, unfortunately. We are running out of rings. Trying to be a little bit conscious of that fact. Maybe we should try going on the inside. Oh. We are running out of rings. That means I'm panicking. More rings, please. More rings. Yes, I'll take those. Woo! I'll be back here now. On the outside. Oh, no! I thought we was actually going to have a chance at that. Just couldn't catch up with that thing. Just could not catch up. Even at max speed. I hate this special stage. I really do. It's just so frustrating. Anyway, let's move on. I don't hate it. That's a strong term. But I, I'm not a big fan of it. But probably my own fault just for sucking. I don't know. Right, okay, yes. Let's just boing across here. With our boinging shield. Ah, we get to go into the gun here. Whoa. I'll be back. Back in a lovely sky chase section. Right, he's going to throw a caterpillar or something out at us. Oh, this sounds like a boss. Whoa. So I guess we have to hit its head. If it actually comes in our direction, anyhow. Hmm. Yeah, we hit it then. Where's it coming from now, eh? wonder who's controlling this thing. Looks like there's a cockpit, but I can't see who's in it. Despite being nearly five minutes, it's felt like a shorter level, this has. Maybe because of the whole... Sky chase mechanic. Time. Felt like it's passed more quickly even though it hasn't. He's coming out thick and fast now. And we're missing him every time for some reason. Why aren't we hitting him? Yeah, he's hitting us. Oh, come on. He's just having fun jumping over us, isn't he? This is uh, confusing. Maybe we have to stand exactly where he's coming out of. No. Oh, no, we do. We do. That's it. We can hit him from underneath. But only on his head, it would seem. There we go. There we go. We've done it. Oh, very good. We've done it. Act 1 is complete. Right then. Who the... Down we go. Looks like Act 2 isn't going to be a Sky Chase type level.
Ah, now I see why in all the press stuff that we saw for this game. We always saw Green Hill Zone Act 1, but Mirage Zone Act 2. It's because I didn't want to spoil the Sky Chase section, isn't it? That makes sense now. So, Mirage Saloon, of course, is a brand new zone for Sonic Mania. But I'm definitely getting a Sandopolis feeling from it. Had a feeling they'd be falling down there. Sandopolis was probably one of my least favourite zones from Sonic and Knuckles. Because I despised the fact that you had to keep turning the lights on. In order to uh, stay alive without the ghosts killing you. So I'm kind of hoping that is a mechanic that does not make its way back here. In this sandy level. Oh, the mean nature of the spikes. Okay, we can run on water. Yeah, it's going to the gun. Okay, still not. Ah, one more ring would have done it. Oh, that's an enemy from uh, Scrap Brain, I think, isn't it? I really hope we get more Sonic games like this from Sega in the future. Because this is where it's at for me. I love these kinds of Sonic games. The originals. So I've not seen this level before. So I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be. We've done quite alright on these Blue Sphere stages though so far. Um, I don't know why I jumped over that. All again. Now we just need to be a little bit careful here. Oh no we don't, we can just do that. And should we hit this gold spring here, see where we end up? Grab those. And on the other side. I don't know if we're going to get a perfect or not. So there's some more blues behind us. I'm not quite sure how we can easily get to those. Let's go ahead and use this gold next. And these. Ooh, a secret path. Ooh! Okay, I think I know what I'm doing with that one next time. Whether we'll get a perfect or not, who knows. But let's carry on with this for now. Oh, cool, you can play the piano. Right, with those things, I'm going to generally try and aim high. Seems to be the best thing to do since you can traverse a lot of the level at that point, can't you? Extra life, I'll take that. Seems... Easy to get, I was going to say. But it turned out it wasn't. Right, where are we now? Uh, do I recognise this one? No, I don't. So there's a heck of a lot of blue sphere levels in this game, actually. Far more than in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I believe. I don't understand the rhyme or reason behind whether it puts you back in one you haven't done yet. Or, as in, like, you didn't uh, succeed in, or a new one. Because there's definitely some that we've been in that I haven't got a perfect on. And occasionally it puts us back in those. But then, obviously, at times like this, it puts us in a new one completely. So, I don't know what the reason is behind where you actually end up on these levels. But it's cool. There's only nine rings. That means I'm guessing there's not going to be many of these that turn into rings. But there's still a lot of blues to get. So we need 15 more blues and 9 more rings. Where were the rings? Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Ah, oh, well this will be the rings. So there's our perfect. So now we just need the blues. Blues, blues, blues. Six of them to be precise. And we're starting to get a little bit nippy here. Ah ha ha ha! Oh boy, this looks like it could be a challenge. 
Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this. That's probably the best way of doing it, I'd say. And we're so close to getting this done. Please don't mess this up, Sonic. Because it wouldn't be my fault, it would be yours. There we go, we've done it, we've done it, easy. Ah, oh, another gold medallion to casually add to our list. Right, can we go down this barrel? Yes, we should be able to. It's got arrows on it. Ooh, are we at the boss fight? This was a quick level. And we've been seeing this guy since Act 1, so maybe it's time to finally get rid of him. So he can turn into things, can he? I'm guessing we have to hit him after he turns back into himself. Yes. Okay. So we've hit him twice, I think. Try and get some rings. He can throw stuff at us if he wants. Get rings back, please. Got one ring to try and get this done now. Okay. He's a strange one, this, isn't he? Move out of the middle. Probably don't want to get crushed. Oh, it's you again. Ring, ring, ring. That is the priority. Thank you, Tails. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, we missed him. Ring. Ah, we killed him. There we go. Right, we're going free the animals. And I wonder what's next. Hey. Oil Ocean. Oh, Sonic 2 Classic. Wow, it's been so long since I played Oil Ocean. Oh, I look forward to this. Well, thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode of Sonic Mania. If you have, don't forget to hit the like button and come back soon for more. I'll look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye.